Hey Keith, it's Mark at LA Nissan, and this is the 2010 Infiniti G37X that you inquired about. So under the hood, we have the 3.7 liter V6 engine. If I can get this to pop up, there it is. Now you can get, as you can see, it's a very clean engine bay. You got plenty of power, plenty of torque, and you're not going to be burning a ton of fuel either. This vehicle does have the 3M on the hood and the fenders, which is a nice feature as well. You won't be tearing up your paint. If you take a quick look in the front there, you'll see that you got the nice black leather seats. They're powered. You got lumbar support, automatic transmission, everything. This thing's loaded. When you take a look in the back, you got ample tra tra trunk space. If you got golf clubs or whatever you need in the back, seats will fold down. So if you need them, you can actually do it right here. There's a little lever and you pull it down and then they're loose and then you can shove them down which is another nice little feature and you can apparently fit two golf bags in there showing you how to do it right there which is nice as well so my cut uh if my cameraman wants to hop in the passenger seat i'll show you some of the interior features all okay so inside you got the push button start roll down the windows they automatically roll down you also have your sunroof as well which is going to be awesome for the summer and then you got a bunch of little displays in here. So you got your analog clock, your radio, and your auxiliary, all that up here. And then you have a little information center in the middle telling you, hey, that door's open, stuff like that. Oh, radio's on. So as you can see right there, which is cool. And then you can adjust a lot of that right here. So right now it's telling me, hey, the outside temp is only nine degrees, which kind of sucks. It was getting warm too. Um, so let me know what you think of this. You got your heated seats as well, actually, and uh, the snow. But this snow switch right here are just shift points. So if you do plan on driving this vehicle in the winter, that's an easy option. You just click snow, and it adjusts how the all-wheel drive system works for you. So let me know what you think. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to be talking to you soon. Thanks, and have a nice day.